Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Blackout, but before that, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the quick giveaway that we're going to be doing. If you guys did not know, or if you guys are new to the channel, we're going to be doing a $25 giveaway that ends on the 14th. So, make sure you guys are following the link in the description below so you guys can get entered into that. With that being said, if you guys enjoy my Battle Royale content, um, then make sure that you guys click that sub button so you guys can be you know, notified on every single one of my Battle Royale based videos. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. Now, courtesy of a dude on Reddit named Relax is Just a Game, real one, he decided that he was going to be doing a full damage breakdown. So I decided to bring you guys the best weapons, in my opinion, the top five weapons that you guys are going to be using on a consistent basis. Now, right now, we're going to be limiting that to ARs tactical rifles and submachine guns based on the fact that those are the ones that you'll be using the most often and probably the ones that you'll be finding the most often with that being said we won't be doing snipers uh pistols shotguns all that stuff or lmgs but if you guys want that make sure you guys leave that in the comment section below because i have no problems doing that and i will make sure that that video gets out as a kind of like a part two but right now i know that there's a lot of people that just got the game as of christmas and so you guys are probably wondering what weapons you guys should be trying to get your hands on obviously it's a battle royale and you have to use what you can get but these are the weapons that you guys should be leaning towards now i have my personal things and i'll go ahead and tell you guys that when i get to that point inside of the video with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys from the ars what you guys should be leaning towards now when it comes to a lot of different weapons there is two they uh there is a lot of ars in this game it's kind of ar heavy but uh there are two that kind of dominate the rest when it comes to the damage department now the rampart is a slow firing but heavy hitting gun it uh shoots out about nine bullets per second and and it's very very potent when it comes to the damage department it's got a 37 body damage and a 40 head damage now this this is at certain ranges obviously this is hitting off of that i'd say about 50 to 100 meter range um also the kn they it sports a 37 and a 40 head damage so they are very comparable weapons very hard hitting i don't know if it's because they use 7.62 ammo or what but they because they both do uh, but they are very potent weapons and actually something that I would use on a regular basis. Those are the guns I kind of gravitate towards. I mean, sometimes I get frisky and to be honest, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, when you're trying to sweat, when you're trying to win a bunch of games and you're not really looking for having fun, but you're having, you're trying to win games, you're trying to be sweaty. These are the type of weapons that you're going to want to focus on. But generally, guys, to be honest, this game is very fun because it there. It doesn't seem like any gun is overpowered. It seems like you can go out and do what you want to with any gun that you pick up. And I think that's really cool about the game. Now, with the submachine guns, guys, there is two weapons that are kind of above the rest. Now, the Spitfire used to be king, but now it has gotten a lot of nerfs. And because it's gotten a lot of nerfs, it kind of fallen out of that spot. Now, of course, if you pick it up and there's a guy with no armor and no guns, it's something that you can melt with. But... I personally wouldn't use it late game. It's not my thing. I actually wouldn't use any submachine gun late game, but I realize that some people enjoy those and there's a lot of damage that they put out. So, uh, but it's just because the way that the maps end on a regular basis, it's not necessarily the best because most of the time that the maps end on like big open areas. So I personally wouldn't use those either, but the MX-9 is one of the best SMGs that you could possibly use when it comes to consistency. It is a... 32 dam body damage and 35 head damage type of weapon so i'd put that in a, like in about a b tier type area for smgs it's got a consistent 0.33 time to kill and i think that that's very very useful um so that's 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 important i don't necessarily use the mx9 all the time i actually skip over the mx9 but like i said i don't use subs so there's that now the saug is a very comparable weapon with it's 900 rpm and I think that's pretty crazy. Now it's got about the same damage as most of the other SMGs, so it's not anything special in the damage department, but it does support a 28 body damage and a 30 head damage. That's pretty dope. As well as a 0.27 time to kill and a 0.33 time to kill. Now this is all if you've broken armor, so I think that that should be said, it, like make sure that's set. This is without armor. Now, you know, that's, that's, that's important. That's very, very important. But now we have the last but not least my favorite weapon in the game, the ABR. Now the ABR is absolutely nasty when it comes to anything. It could be considered the most powerful weapon, at least when it comes to blackout. 
so yeah now it does have a little bit of a slower rpm than the other and then its counterparts the swordfish it only has a 540 by uh you know comparison to the 720 that the swordfish has now that is actually pretty ridiculous so you're kind of probably thinking why is the swordfish not better well the swordfish actually sports lower damages so there's that but the abr supports a 38 body damage which is a huge amount compared to the other weapons that we talked about and a 41 headshot damage but the crazy thing is is that it supports the same time to kill as the mx9 as at both ranges at most ranges like it's 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 got the minimum time to kill is 0.33 seconds and the maximum time to kill is 33 seconds so this is crazy when it comes to when you really think about it to be like you know it doesn't really put it into perspective until after you actually like think about it that's 0.33 seconds so you, you know when you're when you're when you die really fast you have to think about these times these time to kills it's crazy but uh, i hopefully that you guys didn't uh, wait what what did i just say i hold on I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did and it helps you guys out, out at all i hope that you guys made sure that you guys click that like button i hope you guys click that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my battle royale content and with that being said you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace